The eighth most common question, as per a non-Muslim, is that why does Islam permit a Muslim to have non-veg food? You know, killing animal is a ruthless act. So why does Islam permit a Muslim to have non-vegetarian food? I would like to mention at the outset that a Muslim can be a very good Muslim even by being a pure vegetarian. There's no verse in the Quran that, that says it's compulsory for the Muslim to have non-veg food. But since the Quran and our Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have given permission for the human beings to have non-veg, why should we not have? The Quran says in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 1, Ya ayyuhalazina amnu, O you believe, fulfill your obligations and eat of the four-footed animals with exception in name. Eat of the meat of the four-footed animals with the exception in name. Quran says in Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse number 5, We have created for you cattle, and from it you derive warmth and many benefits, and of the meat you can eat. Quran says in Surah Mu'minun, chapter number 23, verse number 21, that verily in the cattle is an instructive sign for you. We give you to drink from what is within the bodies, and you derive many benefits from them, and of their meat you can eat. So when Quran has given permission to have the meat of the lawful animals, then why should we Muslim not have it? Let's analyze the scientific as well as the logical reasons for having non veg food. Today, science tells us that in non vegetarian food, it is a wholesome food. It's rich in protein. And the body requires amino acid. There are eight amino acids which are not created in the body. It has to be given by the external diet. It's known as essential amino acids. Only in the flesh food do you have all the eight essential amino acids. Therefore, the meat is called as a complete protein. There is no vegetarian food which has all the essential amino acids in it. Furthermore, meat is rich in niacin, vitamin B, and it's a wholesome food. There are many non-Muslims, especially the Hindus, they say that, why do Muslims have non-veg? Indians, besides India, they're present throughout the world, 20% population of the world. You go to any part in the world, USA, Canada, UK, Dubai, you'll find Indians there. So it has become a common question throughout the world. I tell them that if you analyze the set of teeth of the herbivorous animals, cow, goat, sheep, they only have vegetables. If you see the set of teeth, they have a flat set of teeth called as herbivorous set of teeth. If we analyze the set of teeth of the carnivorous animals who only have flesh food, lion, tiger, leopard, they have pointed set of teeth. They have the canine set of teeth. If you analyze the set of teeth of the human beings, if you go in the mirror and see, we have flat teeth as well as pointed teeth. If Almighty God wanted us to have only vegetables, why did he give us the pointed teeth, the canine teeth? For what? <laughs> to have non-veg. Furthermore, if we analyze the digestive system of the herbivorous animals, cow, goat, sheep, they can only digest vegetables. If they take flesh food, they will not be able to digest it. If we analyze the digestive system of the carnivorous animals, the tiger, the leopard, the lion, they can only digest flesh food. They cannot digest vegetables. But the digestive system of the human beings can digest veg food as well as non-veg food. If Almighty God wanted us to have only vegetables, why did he give us a digestive system which can even digest non-veg food? But natural to have it. We have a small intestine as well as a large intestine for having both veg food and non-veg food. We are neither herbivorous, neither carnivorous. We are omnivorous.